Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be reviewing another previous fight that I did. This fight was uh, pretty interesting because it was the first time that I had to fly with a paper sectional, which was kind of an experience. For those of you who don't know, a sectional is kind of like a paper mat, uh, if you say that kind of guides you um, as you're traveling in the air, um, helps guide you to various different um, airports. And it's, it's basically an aid to help in navigation in case like your GPS for flight, like a digital sectional, a lot of pilots use um, as well, kind of goes bad, fails or something like this. So it's a very old school way of flying but it's important, especially like when you're taking your written, you, know, you ask a lot of questions, how to use it. Uh, so <laughs> it was quite an experience, uh, this flight. Uh, I mean, my navigation skills, you can see kind of rough. Without further ado, let's get into it. To here, would, I, would this be a Adam, east? Tower, Kelly one holding short runway one. You don't have to go departure. directly east. Okay. You don't have to go heading zero nine zero. Just fly towards the lakes using your eyes, looking outside. Uh, sorry, right? Station 65 is your pump with 2000 on the visual one. Six, Look, you're going to be uh, visual oh, reference, right? So okay. just navigate to the lakes looking outside. Shelly 1S Tower, waiting at our release. So this is important um, as he's discussing here. Um, what was going on a lot of my flights, as you can see, as I'm doing or having a bad habit of looking at my instruments and not using eyes. And again, this is. Uh, visual flight rules. So we're supposed to be using visual clues to help us in our navigation. So that's kind of what this training was, is to kind of force me to start really having to have to look outside. Like, what can we still use oh, we got a right, to navigate? Yeah, he, you can follow that traffic. The lake, like right? Hopefully there's any more behind him. So right, we'll follow him. what like we can do is no fly towards approach. the lake nah. and then somewhere we can cut across to Mesquite here. Okay. You know what I mean? So that's pilotage. You want to use your eyes outside and visually calculate where am I headed? Now what we can do now is we can set up Mesquite's frequencies. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it real simple for you. You want to turn their base? That's the frequency. You see Mesquite. Uh, keep an eye out for the no visual turn on their base. Plus five five four. One two zero point three. Yeah, set it in, and then you see the AWOS there. One 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 eight point one seven five. Perfect. You have the frequencies that you need there, <laughs> right okay. on your right on your map. Okay. Rather, you can continue. One way one six in use. Okay, continue oh. the approach oh, and cancel bad. landing clearance. Exit at seven sixty-eight. I don't need to switch it yet. Okay. Oh, he's gonna give us a clearance here shortly. Continue. You can load in. The Cross five three three runway one six line up way traffic Challenger six mile final. Line up and wait. Cross five three three. Perfect. Good. I needed to say the runway number there. So that's another thing. Remember to say the runway. One point six. You, you checked finals clear, right? Keep going. Oh. It's too late now. Oh. <laughs> You're already dead. Midfield left down runway one six. Maintain two thousand five hundred. That was a good point there. Make sure always to check final. <laughs> but that was a that was one thing Walter really be into me. Make sure check final when you're uh, getting ready to take off. Uh-huh. There we go. So now we're taking that some of that crosswind correction out just so very slowly. There we go. Keeping that center line. Very nice. And just leave some in there. Yeah, there we go. There's 60, right? Perfect. Good. So, yeah. Also, with this takeoff, um, we emphasize making sure that we do a crosswind uh, takeoff. And basically what that is, is that when we get under a runway, we want to make sure we have ailerons completely all the way into the wind. And then we want to slightly start turning the yoke back to uh, the center to align, but with a slight crosswind in the direction of the wind when we pull back on the yoke. That will help us stay on Saturn line as we're taking off into the air uh, to perform what uh, they call a crosswind takeoff. So I think that was my first time or first one that he really emphasized doing this. Very nice. Very nicely done. That was really good. You see how that works? Uh-huh. Yeah. 
now. Just maintain this runway center line here. We don't want to get pushed. So pick a reference point out, out yeah. right, to fly towards so we don't get blown off the runway center line. Because we don't want to get blown into the down one, right? Yeah. I picked that those cluster of buildings to fly towards. That's a good reference point. All right, 1,100 feet. All right, we're at 1,100 feet now. So what do we do? We'll turn uh, yep. across the way. Okay, let's go. This way. Yep. Look outside, look, clear the area. Yep. Wind 18010, one, guess 18. So I want you using your eyes to navigate, okay? What altitude are we going to? Uh, 2000, right? Like we always do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. All right, you have your map on your lap here. That's why oh. you want to invest on a keyboard. So you need to navigate and climb. You have a lot of stuff to do, right? You have a lot of stuff to do. You got to navigate and climb at the same time. Taxi off the parking. So we got to know where we are at all times, right? Yep. Six zero six five echo calling. Yes, sir. Six five echo. Six zero six five echo. Addison Tower, Roger. Enter the midfield left down runway one six. Maintain two thousand five hundred. Feel left down one, runway one six, two thousand five hundred, six five echo. Scully one, turn left heading zero five zero, runway one six, clear for takeoff. Zero five zero one six, clear for takeoff, Scully one. Addison Tower, Skyhawk three six Julia Romeo is holding short of runway one six, ready for takeoff. November three six Julia Romeo, Addison Tower, runway one six, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway okay, one six. So where we are at is four two Yankee, runway one six, clear to land. Runway 16, uh, Man, I am not sure <laughs> where, where I'm going to so navigate so to. We'll look, we'll look outside. Like, okay. Look yeah, where, where what can we navigate to that's really obvious on your map there? 16, 2000. 453 uh, Fox Shire, Tower continue yeah, from 116. Sure. Where is the lake? I don't know where the lake is at, though. <laughs> Yo, I'm so lost. What other things can we use? Can we use roads? Yeah. Okay, let's uh, use uh, roads. For your number two, fall on that Cessna head, runway one. So is there a road up here? Number two, one six, to the land. So There's a road four. across right here. Yeah, yeah. okay, what is that? Look on intersectional. Uh, and while maintaining your altitude. Scully one, as you make that left turn, zero five zero, if you traffic off your nose in about a mile and a half, Cessna no 2005, and that one. You can contact regional parking. Aren't those roads? Uh, we'll be looking yes. traffic over to the park. Okay. Yes, so don't you think that would be it? If it's coming diagonal at us, right? So is it this road right yeah, here? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. So then... Skate would be to the left here. Would it? Which so direction are we heading? Some we're some heading east now. Okay. okay, we're heading east. Number eight to your poppy, you can begin near So center. would it be turn around and back? No, we're heading east. So if we're heading east, where would Mesquite be? Would it be to our left or to our right? Addison Tower, thrust to 575, To our right? Yeah, there we go, because we're heading... We're here, we're heading this way. Oh, see, that's where I didn't know where we're going. Yeah, okay. this is always north up. So north is up here. Uh, and then west is here, east is here. Oh, okay, so we are going there. Yeah. Okay, so what are you going to navigate to next? What waypoint? We're going to turn to the right. Okay, and fly where? Wind 1710, one, 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 like right uh, Papa, can okay. you direct the numbers? Okay, the lake area? We'll yeah. go direct numbers, okay. Sir Papa. Hey, Sir Papa, Roger, you're gonna be inside of a uh, Cherokee doing about 80 knots over the final approach fix. Alright, so now we're outside the Delta, so what can we be doing right, now? We'll keep tie, Papa. Frequencies. Okay, good. Let's and remember, we have to get right on traffic ahead to your left, assessment or, turning right to the uh, airport. Mesquite, yeah. right? Yep. Uh huh. Uh, look at that traffic trail. Fox. You gotta be quick too, and fly the airplane, and do a lot. You have a lot of stuff to do. Right? So so four, you just I can switch go it to One, here. Fly the airplane first. Uh -huh. Aviate, oh, navigate, communicate. <laughs> At this point, I, I I feel like I am shrinking from a uh, shrinking from a fire hose, basically. At this point, <laughs> what? I remember this, this was getting crazy. Advisor, so where are we headed right now? Advisor's contact, Great. you this have way echo. towards that water tower. But I thought you said we were going to the lakes, right? 
Is it the uh, lakes near that little town? Two two four seven Zulu weather observation wind one eight zero nine or one eight visibility one zero. Okay. okay. Yeah, I don't see any lakes out there. Yeah. Okay. Three zero two zero. So it's over this way. Approach runway one six in use. All vehicle routes added in contact. Yep. And what weather are we listening to? We're gonna be listening. Five clearance R V F R. What are we listening to right now? We're listening to Addison ADS. We need to listen to the ski. Okay. So let's get on the streets real quick. You have echo. Let's see, Metro, report it is information in Kilo, the 2150 Zulu weather. Wind 180 at 11, gust to 19. This is 1 0. Sky clear below 1 2000. Temperature 1 4, dew point 0 6, altimeter 3 0 2 3. Expect visual approach landing in the party, runway 1 8. No disturbance. Use caution for numerous birds in the vicinity of the airport. Runway 18 Alice approach on runway 36 back course approach out of service. 5G NOTAMs are in effect for the Mesquite Metro Airport. For further information, contact flight service station frequencies. Advise that you have ADIS information in Kilo. Okay, I've got it. Oh, I was just that, I, flying first. I'm going to listen to it once I get back in my altitude. So now that we have switched, what part of the lake are you navigating to? You want to give them a call? Okay, all right. We're about, what, nine miles? Uh, one zero miles. How do you know that? You have to guesstimate with that, <laughs> without okay. GPS. So it's 533 Mesquite there, make straight in, approach to runway 18, report a five mile phone. Make straight in. Okay, we'll enter straight in runway 1A and we'll report at a five mile final, thrust 533. Fantastic. Oh. This is looking really nice. Right aileron, we're getting pushed again. Right aileron. Good. Maintain the speed, don't pitch up. Good. Oh man. That's okay. Nope. Right aileron, right aileron, right aileron. Right aileron, right aileron. Elevation. It's one step, two step elevation. Keep growing, yeah, just keep on pacing You're a creator, keep on making Yeah, keep creating